Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 Happy Pancake Tuesday, everybody. We hope you make lots of lovely pancakes with your friends and your family. Happy Pancake Tuesday from us at Documented Bits. Yes. Get your brown, get your pancakes, get your pastry, rub your hands together, get ready to make a lovely pancake with your family. Feel free to put it into the toaster. However, you should not need to do that, as you should be making your pancakes from scratch. This is a pre-recorded uh, recording from Joshua this Thomas. A, a tutorial from a tutorial on how to make pancakes with your family. Step number one. Get your family. If you don't have a family, don't worry. Go out into the street and see who you can find. Invite make, them into your home. Make if a family or have, the pancakes. If you do not have a home... <laughs> By the well end then, of this, you can <laughs> make yourself a family. <laughs> By the end of this, you should have a pancake family. <laughs> Step two. Get your pastry and blow into the harmonica one time. Now that you've blew into your harmonica, your pancakes should be ready. <laughs> oh man, how you been my friend? How you been doing? How is the lockdown times three fucking keeping you? Eh? Um, I've been okay. I've been better. I've been worse. Ain't we all? I've been okay. 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 <laughs> okay. okay. I think that calls for some high quality bird signs. And now Dracula has entered the room and he's here to suck your blood. That's beautiful. Ain't that just the beautiful, most beautiful instrument you ever done heard? <coughs> you what do you call that thing? Eh? Yeah? It's a stylophone. Stylophone. And you you gotta have style to wield it. I was gonna say you need to have yourself some style. Can you play anything that I might know? Okay. Where do you hear this little ditty? If I can remember how to do it. Can I guess what you're gonna play first? Okay. Have you gone, like, have you gone like pure beginner? Like, are we talking like Twinkle Twinkle? Oh no no, no. I'm not like... I'm not that advanced yet, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and before it plays happy birthday, I go. No, I I can't even remember how to do it. God save our gracious queen <laughs> man. <laughs> It is happy birthday, <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, and happy birthday to you listening to this at home. We hope you had a great day with your family, oh god. Michael. Do you know, I can't think of anything better for somebody to be listening to right now. That sweet, sweet noise in their ears on your sweet, sweet microphone. They are being blessed right now. Maybe they're lying in bed. Maybe they're just staring at the wall, you know? That's beautiful. Jack's actually going to be... Um, 
working this instrument into his new short film and the whole entire soundtrack will be done on that lovely piece of equipment that you're well, currently listening well, to. Well, Josh, uh, there's going to be more than that, actually. I'm going on a live tour with my stylophone. A world tour. What's the tour called? Style hyphen a phone with Jack live. In front of a... <laughs> audience <laughs> live around the world live around the world in front of at least six people backslash jack scott style .com. can we can we book this anyone is there any is there a site mm. yet are the tickets for sale or are you taking covid measurements are you what are we doing here <clears throat> well it's actually there is a site you can't book tickets there it's called jack scott style backslash covid Backslash world tour, backslash style, hyphen. <laughs> dot com dot uk. You know, you should take it. You should take it to. A, you should do a virtual tour with it. You know. We, you know. We don't know when we're gonna have a crowd again. So you could call it Jack and his. I'll I'll play the, uh, crowd no matter the size. Jack's got style. Hyphen phone. via the phone because you're streaming it on your phone. Yes. Okay. Five, five pound per ticket. Can you complain? How long's your shows? Three and a half hours. <laughs> About that. Fair. Fair. So, Josh, how the hell are you? <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah, I haven't yeah. talked to you in years. Um, I'm good. I'm I'm good. I'm um. I'm coming to the end of tech college, sort of. Mm. Not really. It's not going to be till the end of May, but like it, mm. it definitely feels like it's 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 nearly you know it, we're nearly there. Yeah. Um. You got end of year every, vibes. With everything going on, there's no exams. They've all been cancelled, terminated. Woo. Um. So, I don't have to worry about that. So there's mm. two of my two out of eight of my units are going to be put under. I think they haven't decided yet, but I'm assuming it's going to go predicted route, mm. which means I'm more more likely to actually pass it because my predicted yeah. has been pretty. Um. So apart from right. that, I've just been. Uh, uh, I'm off for half term this week, so mm. I've I've actually able to just kind of chill and do my own thing. Um. I'm back to work. I was off work for three weeks. Just used holiday. Ooh. Uh, started Ooh. back on on Valentine's there for stock take. You know that's always fun. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm uh, pretty pretty busy with units. But once like it's all out of the way, I'm a free man again, and all I gotta do is actually work. And I look forward mm. to the day where all I have to do is work. And yeah whatever else outside of that i can just do as i plead because mm. this sucks i'm sorry <laughs> it's so <I'm> shit <laughs> do you say do as you plead do as i please please it sounded like you said plead do as i plead guilty <laughs> every um, day you wake up you plead either innocent or guilty and that determines the rest of your day but like aside from that um life's just boring man like there's yeah. just every every day just feels like filler <laughs> like i'm watching a filler in a tv series like there's nothing going on um i'm trying to think like what's the most exciting thing that's happened to me as of recently uh there ain't one chief um, um yeah i feel up i've been <clears throat> what have i been doing outside of actually working and obviously i I'll, i've seen like mel i see her like Two days a week. Yeah. Um, I play some games. Certified with the boys. freak. Two days a two week. Two days a week. <laughs> <laughs> I I play some games with the boys. I play sometimes with yeah. Sam and stuff. I haven't I haven't spoke to him in a while either though. Um, Last time I spoke we... to Sam was uh, I was delivering a package to Julie, and Sam happened to be there as well. Hey. I um I play Fortnite with him and Connor and stuff. We just play Fortnite together and have a good time. Mm. Um, I've been watching some series. I've been watching One Division, but I know for a fact you ain't been watching that. 
I actually um, want to watch it, but I've been watching other things. It's know. uh it's very it's very good. Um it's very different, but it's very fun. Mm. Um so I would like to talk about that, but I'm not going to. Um by the way, can I just make a comment about the the nice uh picture you have behind you? That you lovely can. artwork. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's very nice. Oh, thank you very much. Is There's that... another one just uh you know, we got one let's see. Let me got that one there. Mm-hmm. That's Belfast, and then we got one over there as well. Oh, yeah. Are they new? So, no, they are not. I've had those since I more or less moved here. Oh, okay. So, don't ever bring up my paintings again. <laughs> All right, that's, that's <laughs> enough of that. Speaking uh, of he did it. Let me shout him out one time. <clears throat> oh man, I can't understand his handwriting. It's a squiggle. Uh, <laughs> shout out, sorry. Mr. Squiggle. <laughs> <laughs> they are they are cool though it's a a nice uh interpretation of the city that me and jack in fact live in well mm-hmm. speaking of Peyton, have you seen that uh that painting that kim kardashian and fucking kanye west oh, f- fuck supposedly off fucking this, made yeah who's like what seven years old mm, i think she is literally like fucking like nine or something no she's not even that old dude it literally looks like a fucking Bob Ross painting. Uh, she is. I gotta find this real quick. North, isn't it? Yeah. God damn, they have a lot of kids. She's seven. Seven. Seven years Bollocks. old, and and supposedly she produced. The only thing she produced in that was the the writing, to say her name, and even at that, that's probably still Photoshop. You know what? I was going to say, it probably wasn't even her that signed the name to it. It was yeah. probably fucking Kim. I don't know. I don't know why you'd even feel the need to to mm. post that as well. Like, what, 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 you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Just to be spoke about more. Fuck the Kardashians. I mean, we, yeah. don't need, we don't even need to give them our time. They're not <laughs> worth one, it. They're not worth it. One last thing. That's exactly what I thought whenever I saw it. Because I think it, my dad was watching, like, fucking Loose Women or something. And they were talking about it on that. As soon as I saw the painting, I was like, "What? Why would? Why did you feel the need? Yeah. The fucking why? Did, why did you feel the <laughs> need <laughs> for speed? Like I, it, it, I mean, it, it, if you're gonna lie about your kids' talents, at least make it a little bit more realistic. Yeah. It, yeah. I, I don't. I don't understand. I don't even know where I where I heard from it. <clears throat> where did I hear about it? Anyway, I can't remember. Maybe it was just on Facebook, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't deserve our time because that's what they that's what they get. They get people talking. This is people like us, <laughs> fools like that's, us, that's who, who, who take the time to promote them more. That's what you get. Did they not get a divorce? Um, I think they're like getting a divorce, but I don't know if they actually got a divorce yet or got divorced even. Yeah, I am. Um... Sorry, I was. I was responding to a DM. Um, Josh was getting emotional. I was. I've got myself booked in for a, a secret, a secret haircut. <laughs> I got myself booked in for a secret for a top. <laughs> 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 oh, I've got a message. I've been booked in for a secret. <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> oh God. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, the, 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 the painting's fucking dumb. She didn't do it, and neither did probably Kim. And they probably just fucking bought it somewhere or paid <laughs> fucking some. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just completely missed the connection there. From I'm getting a secret haircut. To, I was probably fucking Kim that fucking did the fucking pin. <laughs> Kim and North and the painting. <laughs> Oh man. North anyway. just booked herself in for a secret. <laughs> Cl- 
Click this link and book yourself in for a secret. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Victoria just booked herself in for a secret. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Um, fuck's sake. Uh, I was going to say about... God damn, I completely lost my train of thought. That threw me off. You're getting a you're getting a secret haircut. Well, yeah, well, I I wasn't meant to bring that up. I just got a message about it. Um, do you, would you have you ever actually gone to the the talk of Bob Ross? Mm-hmm. Have you ever tried painting alongside <clears throat> it? Oh hell no. no, 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 no. I've got the skills or the time or that's the not a thing. Materials. Well. That brings me to my... I'm, I'm not going to spend the money on materials if it's going to be shit. Could you just um, hold for me for one second? Is that okay? Could you just fill in for literally less than 10 seconds? Oh, okay. I thought you yeah. meant just freeze. Okay, gone. Um, Welcome to the show, everybody. Probably should have said that way earlier on. Um, We're going to get up close to the mic. By the way, I can't even fucking I have hear myself. He's back. So, the, the reason I ask is because... Ooh! Your boy's going to be an artist. Your boy's not going to be an artist. This is a gift that I got my dad. Oh, okay. Um, Your boy's dad's going to be an artist. <laughs> it's a gift that I got him for Christmas, and he's bought the whole... He bought the the canvases and he's bought uh, mm. like thinner and stuff like that. Like, because apparently not everything comes with that, even though that cost me 80 pounds. Yikes. Um, Yikes, Wazowski. Yeah, so he's gonna. It, I'm pretty sure it comes with the DVD. Mm. And he, he's gonna. Paint along with gonna, Bob? He's gonna paint along with Bob. Ooh, that's nice. So. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd ask you because I know that you like to watch Bob Ross from time to time. He makes and, me uh, feel things. He makes me... F- <laughs> he makes me feel like I'm booked in for a secret. <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know, Jack actually did book himself in for a secret. And he also um, dressed up as Bob Ross for Halloween back in, I think it might have been 2000. And it was either 19? Ni- 18? Uh, I'd say it was 18, because Halloween 2019. Yeah, I just rub your mic a bit there more while you speak to me. Like, I can really hear you as well. I'm just thinking, um, because the whole fucking year, year and a bit has been a bit of a blur, I can't remember if Halloween 2019 happened or not. It did, didn't it? 2019 happened, yeah, because COVID came, decided to introduce itself the month after, the truly spooky month of November. Mm. So, mm. yeah, uh, but I don't think it was nineteen. I think it might be eighteen. Um, it might have been twenty nineteen then. No, it would have been twenty nineteen actually. Um, because would it? When did I start dating Mel? Um, it was, was that twenty nineteen? It was around about when we started doing the podcast, so... 2019, right? We didn't do that in 2018. I don't think so. Hold on, let me, let me check the stats. 20... No, it was. It was, 20, it was 2019, because I went to... How old am I? I'm 22, and I... <laughs> <laughs> where, where am I? <laughs> Real quick, how old am I? Um... Yeah, because I, I had my 21st yeah. in Italy with Connor. It was 2019. So 2019 is when I started dating Mel. And we started the podcast is, on is 2nd of September you, 2019. You Bob Rossed it in, in 2019. Dude, I um, fucking Bob Rossed it. Yeah, yeah, because I'm pretty sure you did. Because I couldn't go because I was working. I had to work the night. Mm. And 
Mel was gonna go, so that's why I'm thinking about it. But maybe. Well, I can't remember a Halloween after that, so let's just. Oh, say it definitely it was wasn't after that. Yeah, yeah, there wasn't one. Oh no, my ear- oh, okay, we're back again. My earphones keep cutting out. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> he likes to keep on my toes. My earphones do. <laughs> Uh, Josh, um, I, have a, I have a question to ask you. Uh, go ahead, sir. You... I also have a question for you. Okay. Uh, but, uh, you go first. I feel like your question is going to be more... Uh, more Fuck off, Ulster Bank. Um, I feel like your question is going to be better. My question is, do you prefer pre-shit farts or post-shit farts? <laughs> Um, post shit farts. Mm, correct. Because <laughs> because <laughs> I don't want the smell of because pre shit farts is letting you know what's to come. Like it's like yeah. you gotta go. <clears throat> uh, okay. Okay. Whereas usually, but not always, post shit farts don't really have a scent to them. However, mm. sometimes you might get hit with a bit more of after poo residue, as I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We got uh, a post- goddamn to <laughs> electric <laughs> avenue, but hold on tight for the after <laughs> poo residue. <laughs> we got a goddamn to after poo residue. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My question. Well, can I not explain why? Oh, no, no, please, I thought please. you were correct. Yeah. Okay, so, post-shit farts, correct answer, because, as you said, pre-shit farts are, like, letting you know what's about to come. It's a teaser, it's a little come. snippet yeah. in what's to come, you know, it's a little... But I feel like post-shit farts feel better, because it's sort of like, right, you got all the shout out, but there's still a little bit of, like, something's there. And then you fucking, you do that fart in the toilet bowl, it reverberates like fuck, and you you just feel all emptied. And you feel Oh, refreshed. you're doing it in the bowl? I just thought you meant, like, I've gone for a No, 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 no. Ass still on the seat. Ass still on seat. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I did one the other day, which I will share with you. <laughs> which, um, was a pre, a pre-shit fart. Mm. And I think it sounded a lot like a TIE fighter from Star Wars. Ooh. Can't wait for this. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You know? Yeah. (laughs) I also had this one the other day, uh, which went on for, some would say, too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's just yeah. your face after as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. I did a pretty good one. My best one was last year. And this was let me just take a moment to try and find it. Um I I think I might have played it before, but it still is holds my number one spot and I will not show the video to it, but I will play the sound because of the video. I am not. You would be demonetized. Was there? A, was there a penis? No, no. I'm just in <laughs> boxers, but you know I don't need to show that to the audience. Okay. Uh, but here's the fart. Oh, <laughs> that album is dirty. If you listen closely, it might not pick it up on the mic. But if you listen mm. closely, there's actually a little fart directly after (laughs) 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 yeah it's a little yeah Uh, uh, yeah that's just my small catalogue of farts okay um there was a time whenever I showed that to the podcast but sure Sometimes I forget that this actually gets posted and goes somewhere, yeah. and it's not just a conversation between me and you. Yeah, I I feel like I had trouble with that like early on. Like I would say quite risky things, and then remember, oh, this is going on the internet for everybody to see. 
I have no shame. I have no shame. Um, no, but I'm talking about me saying like quite saying what, Jack? offensive things. <laughs> Shh. Who looks like Jack booked himself in for a secret? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, right. What was your question? Well, mine's mine's actually a would you rather? Oh. And I want you to think long and hard about it. Like that part. So, number one is basically would. Well, actually, it's not really a would you rather. It's more of a scenario. Okay. Um, so you are given sixty biggins, sixty million pound, right? Sixty Six, million. Sixty or sixteen. Sixty. Sixty million. Okay. Given the just straight up, but it comes with a catch, and I want to know: Will you take that catch, or will you decline the catch? Basically. You take the 60 million, but a slug will be following you for the rest of your life. And if that slug touches you, you will immediately die. But it's it could be anywhere in the world. The slug will always be attracted to you and will always be like going towards your direction. But uh, it could be anywhere and it could come at any time. Do you take the money? Yes. Or do you, you do? Yes. Because okay. I I feel like there's measures you can take to prevent that. Well, I would be afraid to sleep, or at or at least slow the boy down. Well, he's already slow. <laughs> he's, just already, he's already a slow boy. Slowing but it's, down but even more. It's the rest of your life. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. you could you could forget you could forget about it. Forget about it. Hey, and, forget uh, about it. No yoika, no yoika, no yoika. You could literally just be in your sleep, and it could it could be a lot closer than you realized. I I would take the the sixty mil, baby. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, you 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 do realize you'll be be spending the rest of your days on your toes, like on edge. I'm already on my toes at all times. Okay, and that's also like. You could be out and about, and you could just see a slug that might not be the slug, but you, you're immediately like, that thing is about to kill me. Get somebody else to kill it? No, the slug can't die. Yeah, but then if they are able to kill the slug, then I'll know that's not the slug. That's okay, that's fair. That's fair enough. I thought this would go on longer. I would not take the money. I would not. Re- I, would, I don't want to spend the rest of my days being paranoid of a slug potentially touching me anywhere. It, does, it doesn't have to touch your skin. It can just touch your clothes and you're dead. Mm. Mm, okay. <clears throat> Do the clothes have to be on you, or is it just fucking? If your clothes are like, say, lying in a charity Tainted. bin, <laughs> <laughs> and the slug touches your clothes. <laughs> no, they have they have to be on you. They have to be on you. Okay, mm. then yeah, I take the money all day. Fair, fair. <laughs> I would use the six, the sixty million to create a slug protector. <laughs> yeah, you would use the sixty million to take measures to fucking repel the slug. I um, I wouldn't take the money. It's a no for me, but I respect your decision. I respect your bravery, and um, the sixty million Thank you. will come into your account within the next twenty four to forty eight hours. You have sealed your fate. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was it. That was all I wanted to ask. I was thinking about it while I was having a period there. Um, speaking of bugs, um, I had a thought yesterday. Is lice is lice still a thing? Yeah, of course. Because I've I haven't heard about lice and fucking yonks. But, but li- like, is lice not is like... lice not like a a sort of primary school thing? Like it's usually in kids, right? So you obviously don't have any kids in your house, but that's usually where it comes from. It's spread through schools. No, that's like the most common fucking like way it spreads. But like you can still like adults can get lice. It's still a thing for sure. Even in like TV shows and that and that TV shows and that. Like not many modern TV shows fucking features lice, but I can name you at least two fucking like older TV shows that feature lice and like all the fucking. All the kids' fucking TV shows 
somebody got lice at some point. And then it's they def- all got lice, and it was a big problem. It's definitely... It It has to still be a thing. It when's has to lo- still be a thing. When's the last time you heard about lice? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably... Probably within the the year. I I feel like I feel like I heard conversation of someone's primary school having having lice. It might have been the brand new one, and there were there was a letter sent out just to be like, uh, just so you know, like someone has it, but like pre this is probably pre COVID, so probably two years, right? Okay. Before but they were the like, same... so, you know, someone has... That's what everyone's talking about COVID now, that's why. But no, one's, feel... no one's talking about lice. You can catch lice, yeah, you can catch COVID too. <laughs> I feel like at the same time, though, like, whenever we were kids, like, lice was, like, a much bigger problem than it is now, for some I reason. I don't recall ever having it, but I think I probably did. I had lice at least uh, I'm going to close my twice. mind a little, just uh, try and get a little bit of the... The light let being less harsh, or do you think it's all right? What do you think? Um, you are a bit overexposed. A little bit bright. Two seconds. Bright, bright, <laughs> bright. Um, anybody listening who has lice, um, message into the show, uh, on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Uh, tell us about your lice. Um, right. Are the are the lice friendly? Probably a little exposed um, now, for God's sake. Uh, no, you're okay. <clears throat> huh? You're all, you're all good. Right. You're, you're looking nice, um, baby. My earphones have stopped working again. Okay. I can't hear you, Jack. Oh, no. I can't hear you, Jack. I can hear you now. Hello. Hello. All right. We're back. Uh, back by lice. Um, You had it when you were younger. Yeah, twice that I can remember. I I might have had it. I think I did ask if I ever had it, and I was told when I was really young, maybe like as in like P two or something. Mm. But uh, not that I remember. I remember having a fear of getting lice in in our school. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Yeah. Fucking lice was like a much bigger oh, problem. Like a way darker. Yeah. What the hell? What? Two like seconds. I, you're looking a bit spooky. <laughs> Play the music, Jack. Play the music. <laughs> It's a secret. All right, hold on. I'm gonna dip. Whoop. I'm gonna try and fix it. Oh no, here. he's he's gone. Um. Yeah, like I I remember having a fear of it back in primary school because it was always like a talk, like you say. It was always yeah. kind of like, oh, am I gonna am I gonna get it? And am I gonna have to shave my head? That was always a thought of mine. Like, am I gonna uh, have to actually? And teachers are like fucking don't bump heads kids you yeah. might you might transfer lice you don't want lice do you lice camera and <laughs> action <laughs> hello <laughs> um, that, i think that's the name of the episode <laughs> lice camera action um yeah i did i definitely had a fear of getting it and i think uh, i'll not tell names uh, but someone in my class in P7 or P6, because that was the only two years that I went to your school. Name and um, shame. Somebody, no, I'm not going to name and shame, but somebody had it and I was close with them and I was at mm. their house when I found out they had it and I was very, very <laughs> nervous, but I didn't, I, I, I didn't have it. It's, like, it's not, fucking it's not even a big deal. It down it's, the road home. It, it's not even a big deal. It's just a little bit kind of, <clears throat> to it's me, bit- it's like, it's gross because yeah, it's like a live. It's a wee bit icky. Yeah, it's very icky. The thought of like something like just crawling, like a few things mm. just crawling and laying eggs yeah. and being mm. more of like I remember watching. If you remember, uh, there used to be a show called Embarrassing Bodies, and people would like straight up like pull out their dicks yeah. and do all sorts. But mm-hmm. some sometimes people would also have the likes of lice, and they would have like microscope kind of cameras, and they would show mm. you what the lice are like, and you're like, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, and it's like yeah, it, it wasn't nice, but. It's a normal thing, and I'm sure that lice are still a thing. In fact, why don't we Google it? Yeah. <laughs> hey Google, is lice still a thing? Is lice? Is anyone else asking this question? Is lice still a thing? You're not alone. Um, I'm on to something. 
Head lice aren't likely to become extinct anytime soon. However, yeah, so they're still a thing. Um, okay. But we just don't hear about it as much. How do how do the kids get it at, in the beginning? Like, like when it's not off someone else. Is oh, it just like rolling about the dirt? You're very overexposed now. Not here. Never again. Uh, is it just like the dirt? You're like, green, is it, is green it just white, the... and orange, baby. <laughs> Is, is it just, um... Yeah, where do the lice come from? I'll look that yeah. up. <laughs> when a daddy lice mm. and a mommy lice <laughs> love, each, love other each other very, very much. much. Uh, they have sex come? on your hair. <laughs> where do lice come from? Head lice do not come out of the air or from the ground. They are... Human parasites and probably have been there since the beginning of time. Since the De beginning of time. Desiccated brackets, dried up head lice, uh, and their eggs have been found on the hair and scalps of Egyptian mummies. Egyptian mums. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I am. Um... What well, so does that mean? They're just. There, they just spawn out of nothing. They definitely come from something, but maybe that's a question that's not meant to be answered right now. Um, but that that's the whole thing. It just says they're human parasites, and we've probably been here since oh, been here oh, since dang, beginning it's of exposed time. Exposed again. Where's all this light coming from? My blinds are shut. It's because um, you're a star. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Every time I turn it down, it just... It gets um, dim again. <clears throat> Every time we kiss, I get this feeling. That's not even the lyrics. Every time we touch, I get this feeling. The very one. Every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. Can't you feel my heart beat slow? I can't let you go. I need you by my side. da na 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 Okay. I still hear your voice when you sleep next to me. Did you hear about what they're doing with bars? With bars, or Johnson? Pretend potentially, <laughs> potentially doing with bars. And um, I don't know if this is in England or Northern Ireland. <laughs> But I, uh, is it cutting the curfew and stuff? No. Is it the vaccine passports? No. No. I invited it Italian instead of us doing a guessing game. I thought we were playing games, so I apologize. <laughs> uh, apparently, they're going to try and open the bars. Wait for it. Without alcohol. Oh, I did it. Mel told me this. Mm. Um, that's, like, that's like opening a water park. Without the water. Well, my my kind of argument to what she said immediately was, well, it makes sense for the likes of bars that are restaurants because then you can serve food. Yeah. And then you're still. But at the same but time, for the likes of bars that are just bars, like wet bars. Um, at the same time, nobody's probably... going to the bar for specifically for food. You go to the bar, and if they serve food, great. But yeah, but I'm guessing restaurants it, it, are going to be open at the yeah, same time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's, re it's restaurants. Why would you go to a bar whenever you go to a restaurant for food? But a lot of bars are restaurants. Hmm. True. So True. that's that'll be the reason, and people will definitely go. Like the business will be booming for for the likes of that. People are dying to go out for a meal, or probably sick of just takeaway and stuff. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's fair. It it makes sense, but it's also like, just. Do the drink as well because, like, you're already opening up to the public. Like, yeah, fair enough. Alcohol is going to make more people come out and younger people come out and probably party and stuff mm. like that. But like, at the same you just time, bite the bullet. At the same time, though, fucking offies are open. So what's to stop people going to a bar, or restaurant for food, and then just going to the offie and fucking going back to yeah. somebody's house where there's no, uh, fucking COVID restrictions. And yeah. they can just mingle and kiss each other on the lips. <laughs> Can't kiss on the lips in bars. 
What are you, crazy? <laughs> That's what I love to do after mingling. I remember the first time we, ming- we mingled. <laughs> I felt weird asking you, but then I just went for it. <laughs> yeah. I did not I did not consent. No, he didn't consent, but that's okay. <laughs> because we're we're here we're here now. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know if that's uh, the message we want to be putting out there. It was different with me. Even and Jack. if they don't consent, that's okay. A fu- fun fact, me and Jack first um touched lips when we were in <laughs> the the blanket the duvet together, uh, in the document bits mm. That's the first time we yeah. kissed. And oh. it wasn't the last. Let me tell you that right now. Um, that actually reminds me. I've been thinking recently. Is oh, it maybe time it when you do that. Is it maybe time we switch switch up our fucking photo? Uh, photo, yeah. Or yeah, fucking maybe we thumbnail just put thing. A, or we icon. invert invert the photo so that maybe I can be on the other side and you can be. Mm. <laughs> smart, you're smart, smart. <laughs> Uh, You're so I mean, I'm, happy, I'm happy to change it to whatever. The only thing is that's <clears> stopping me. If I was to if I was to do the photo or whatever it is, I don't have Photoshop running anymore because my PC's dead. Well, see, my idea was um, Pierce is a a good a good boy with drawing, ah, and he can do yes. the whole fucking like he can make his build drawing on the iPad thing. Oh, I don't know. I was thinking he could maybe draw us a building. I think we would look pretty cool as buildings. Hmm. I'd probably be. Able, what building would you be, Jack? Hmm. All right, there's a question. I would think I personally would be a. Hmm. Maybe like a. Maybe like a cottage, a wooden cottage. I don't um. Know. Uh, no, doesn't matter. Uh, there was a a guy that we studied in art in uh Lagan College, and he uh, designed some pretty wacky houses with like uh trees growing out of the walls and that. And I, I think I'd be one of those houses. I can't remember mm-hmm. the name of the guy. I'm going bright again, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> It's not even Mom, bright in here. Mom, I'm it's, going bright again. It's so weird. It's it's not even bright in here. Um, oh, that's fine, right? It'll go. It'll keep changing. Uh, it'll keep. It'll keep going. Um, yeah, hit Pierce up. I would love to hit up um a animator and des- designer that I know called uh Jonathan Sung, but um, I shout out one time. A long time. Hmm. Said shout out one time and then shout realized that my gain is far too high. I am. Um, I I really would like to reach out to him and get him to do something, but he he. This is it. You know, it's his job and he's paid for it. So yeah. and I don't have money to to mm. really be like. And I don't want to be like, hey, do me this for free because like I know you. Yeah. You know what I mean. Um. But yeah, no, definitely hit beer shop to see what he can I'll do. Book you in for a secret. <laughs> You been watching anything? You been outside of work, other than the office, no doubt. Um, I'm actually finishing the office again. Uh, not really, actually. I'm trying no. to think of what I've been I mean, watching, and I can't. Think I mean, that doesn't make sense thing. because I I recall uh, previously in this conversation that we've had for the last I don't know how long. I said the line. I've been watching One Division, but uh, you probably wouldn't. You probably wouldn't want to watch it, and then you follow that up with, "Oh, I've actually been meaning to watch that, but I've been watching so many other things first. So I somebody's think, lying. I don't, I don't think I said so many other things. I just said <laughs> other things, aka The Office, and I watched the movie Falling Down last night, which I haven't watched since uni. That's and I forgot how Michael good it was. Douglas, right? Yes, Michael Douglas. I'm gonna. No, I'll just leave it. That's where he's like he's, road rage. He's, he's a man boy and he goes a bit crazy. I have watched it, but I watched it a few years ago. I watched yeah. one my, my dad wanted me to watch with him. Uh, I was the same. I watched it, I think it was first year of uni. Um, or I, I saw it on Netflix and I just remembered it being good. So I thought, fuck it. Was it good? It was good. It was actually better than I remembered. Mm, that's always fun. Oh, New Girl. I've been watching New Girl as well. I've got it paused on my TV right now. 
Mel would would rate that very much. Mm-hmm. It's a very good show. Uh, I haven't I haven't seen. I've watched. Uh, I think I've watched fifteen minutes of one before I passed out at like three o'clock in the morning or something like that. Nice. Um. Yeah, I I haven't been watching any. I I tried. We talked about this a long time ago. Um, probably on the podcast, or maybe it was just me and you. Um, obviously we talked about Shameless and the U.S. Shameless. Mm. But I kind of got bored of U.S. Shameless, um, because okay. I was sick of waiting for Netflix to release new seasons. Yeah, and then it got towards the end of the last one that I watched. It got very very political, and like very yeah it did go through a period of being quite it went very like yeah political and gay rights and stuff which is all fine but when it became very focused on that so i kind of lost interest um and then i tried to watch the the uk one which i tried before but i couldn't have been Mm. bothered with uh, channel four because they had ads yeah but it's, it's on netflix now so me and mel tried watching it i think we got the season two or three yeah. I think we're on season three, but it's just so it's not it's not for me like it's yeah it's every episode feels like it's like three hours long when it's realistically yeah. like forty five minutes they're yeah. really really like slow and kind of drawn out I don't know it's strange it's a really bizarre I've never watched a show that's about, felt so long other than Better Call Saul uh, when I tried okay, to watch yeah. season two I it I'll was get, very I'll give like you that. yeah. <clears throat> But like I, I'm a big Breaking Bad fan, but I haven't watched any more of that show because because of how drawn out it feels. It does you know? get better. It gets way better. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard. Um, and that's the motto of life in general. It always gets mm. better, guys. <laughs> so gets better, just stick it out. And mm. if it doesn't get better, then it gets cancelled. Sure. Sure. <laughs> gets taken off the air. Huh? But don't tell anyone it's a secret <laughs> and you're booked in. I'm going to book you in for a secret. Um, are you still doing your Reddit thing? I was just about to bring that up. Uh, here comes the Reddit theme song. Um, I did one. Uh, would I be right in assuming that you haven't listened to the most recent episodes of this? You would be absolutely correct. Okay, sir. good, good. Because <clears throat> um, there was one that I remember fucking reading and thinking, right, I'm gonna fucking save this for whenever Josh is back again. Uh, because it was pretty fucking mad, and now I can't okay. find it. Uh, fuck where to go I'm gonna take this time to uh, promote <gasps> I found it but go ahead <laughs> keep going <laughs> I'm gonna take this moment to promote uh, a buddy mm. of ours Nick Scott oh yes who has just released a new track he released a new single yesterday um, it's called One More Cigarette Uno Mas Cigarillo it's on um, Spotify, and it might be on other stuff. I don't know, but it's definitely on Spotify, mm. and uh, I would recommend giving mm. it a listen. It's a pretty, it's a ni- pretty good nice song. little ditty. It's a, uh, it's very kind of country and and got a bit of an old kind of feel to it, but it's all done yeah, by man. him. Every every instrument, every he I does harmonica, very, there's guitar. Got a very uh, Johnny Cash sort of vibe from him. Yeah, it ha- it definitely has a sort of Cash vibe. Um, a Cash twang. Yes, a cash twang, as it were. Um, but yeah, yeah, give it a listen. Um, support him. He's it's. I think it's. He's already got quite a quite a few listens to it. But um, mm, I give it. A and like. this is this is this is only the start of it. I would assume. I'd assume he, it's all up from here for him. <clears> like he yeah. pumping out all sorts. So, uh, anyway, back to the Reddit. I just wanted to quickly say something. Okay, Josh. So I'm gonna read you the title of this first. Okay. And I want you to give your initial reactions off the title. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So the title is, Am I the asshole for refusing to participate in my boyfriend's family's bizarre orange tradition? Hmm. 
<laughs> hmm. And Josh, okay. let, me, let me just tell you, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine awards. And these awards are as follows. Narwhal statue, or salute even, Narwhal salute. Mm -hmm. Gold, out of the magic portal, into the magic portal, helpful, wholesome, silver, shocked, and hugs. Okay, <laughs> uh, straight off the bat, <laughs> I, I need more detail. <laughs> I, like... I don't. I don't want to. I. I don't know what this tradition oh, entails George, of. It, you know, it only gets crazier from here. Okay, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Okay, so here's the story. It's a bit of a long boy. I'm but, here. Uh, or actually, no, it's just I'm a load of, Actually, it's only longish, and then there's like edits at the bottom. Okay. So here we go. My boyfriend and I have been together for a while now, but I hadn't met his family until a week ago when they invited us to stay at their house. I was very excited to meet his parents for the first time and they were super sweet when I got there. Both of them are lovely people and we all uh, got along well. Emphasis on got along well. They gave us free reign to do what whatever... But the one thing they insisted on was that we join them for their tradition of eating oranges as a family on Saturday mornings. Um, they grow their own oranges, and I've been doing this since my boyfriend was a kid. So he especially he was especially thrilled to share the tradition with me as a rite of passage. So the morning came, and his mom brought in some brought in some fresh oranges from the garden. We sat at the table and I was getting ready to peel my orange when I saw my boyfriend's mom bite into her orange like it was an apple with the peel still on. Uh, I was so stunned when I saw my boyfriend and his dad do the same thing with their oranges as if it were totally normal. I guess they noticed my shock because they asked me why I wasn't eating. So I started to feed my orange, but then his mom told me to stop, that I was eating it wrong, <laughs> <laughs> and had to bite into the skin to get the full experience. I politely told her that I like to peel my oranges, and I'm sure they taste just as great either way, but she kept insisting that I bite into my orange for tradition. After saying multiple times that I'd rather peel it, and the family, including boyfriend, pushing back, I put the orange back in the table and said, though I appreciate the gesture, I personally feel uncomfortable eating oranges that way and I'd rather not participate. Things were tense after that we l and we left the next day. When we got home, my boyfriend chewed me out for being rude and embarrassing him and his family. He said I should have just eaten the orange the right way. Since his parents were gracious to let me stay with them, I can see his point and I apologize for causing any hurt. Uh, I really do like his family and they're great people, but I stand by my decision to opt out of the orange tradition. He feels I could have compromised, and I feel that I should be able to, and I feel that I should be able to eat things how I want. It's a silly squabble in the grand scheme of things, but my boyfriend and I are really at odds about who's in the wrong, and would love an outside opinion. So that's the end of the thing. There's a couple of edits here. Do you okay. want to hear them? Yeah, yeah. Go, go. Okay. Edit one. Some people have been asking what kind of oranges slash whether they're actually oranges. Uh, all I can say is that I was told they were oranges and they looked like typical oranges with thick skin. And then she sent a, or attached a photo and they looked like oranges. Okay. Edit two. <coughs> Lots of frequently asked questions, so I'll just answer them here. No, they just... Don't just bite into it once to make it easier to peel. They don't peel the oranges at all. They eat the whole thing. Fruit, skin and pith. Uh, like one would eat an apple. Yes, it is messy. Yes, the skin is thick. The, tr the tradition involves eating the orange like that. Not just a bite. I do recognize that I could have surrendered a bite to keep the peace. However, uh, this is the first time I've seen my boyfriend eat an orange. 
He never ate them with me, as he would say that nothing compares to his parents' oranges. <laughs> <laughs> you've seen, you seen me, our friends, and people on TV shows eat peeled oranges. I assume that go or the same goes for his parents. My boyfriend never commented before on the common peeling technique. His parents do this every Saturday. I'm not sure how they eat their oranges on other days, but I imagine it's the same. <clears throat> The whole family is expected to participate every Saturday when at her, at the parents' house, but I don't have to do it in my own home. The reason I didn't try one by is because, <clears throat> or is mostly because I was off guard, or I was caught so off guard, since all my boyfriend told me was that we we are <laughs> we're going to eat oranges. He told me, or he didn't let me know about the method in advance, so I panicked. Uh, that and the insistence that I eat the entire fruit the way they wanted me to uh, it turned me off trying it. I might be open to trying it in the future. And then she said, I think that covers it. Thanks for the comments. I'll definitely share this with my boyfriend. So I don't <clears throat> see what the family's doing wrong because that's how I eat my oranges. Are you speaking as you or are you speaking on... Oh no. I'm speaking as, as me. Oh. Ah. Uh. Uh oh. It stopped. Let and me try and get Josh we back. We cut. Oh, I get Josh back. Coo, 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 coo. We're getting Josh back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're, we're getting we're, Josh we're back. back. Um, okay, did, continue. Did, did that record that last? Would that have, because that call ended, would that have recorded that whole episode? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. It's converting to uh, MP4 as we speak. Thank God. Um. Yeah, I eat my oranges that way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me, Josh. <clears throat> Everybody listen to this has just been booked in for a secret. I eat my oranges that way. No, okay, I don't I'm obviously I'm joking. Um it it's what? pretty <laughs> It's pre- it's pretty fucking crazy to me <clears throat> that that she got so flamed for it after. <laughs> like, it was yeah. like, well, fuck, didn't you eat those oranges the way my family <laughs> told you to? Like, <laughs> I mean, how dare, you, how dare you waste the peel? Don't you know that's the best bit? <laughs> how dare you eat an orange the normal way? <laughs> sorry, are you just peel? Sorry, 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 excuse me. Are you, are you peeling? Are you leaving? Are you going to, you're not going to eat that? You, you, you're not going to, you're not, you're not going to eat. Sorry, you're not gonna... are you, are you peeling your orange? Are you... Let me just book you in for a secret, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> in this family, we don't peel the orange. <laughs> um, <coughs> I, I think it. I think it's genuinely insane. That I don't I don't judge people eating their orange that way. Like that's absolutely whatever. Like if you want to do that, like I actually do know of people who have who eat the peel, who have at the peel. Mm. Um, like the all all shits and giggles aside, but for you to get so insulted by your your homemade oranges, your your grown mm. organic oranges, like for you to get so salty about it because nothing like, compares to his parents oranges like, yeah because the way she talks about it, the way she talks about it <laughs> makes it sound like like she slaughtered the family dog <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and like she was she was pulled in for it after like i can't believe i can't, I can't <laughs> believe i cannot believe my family invite you into their home and you sit before you them. Could have, you could have compromised and not killed the family dog. <laughs> <laughs> you could have, yeah. It's, it's just, that's that's genuinely insane. And maybe she needs to re-eval- reevaluate her relationship mm. with said people and mm. said family. 
uh, Pre- or at least the family sister. should apologize because th- she is absolutely in the right to not be peer pressured into eating the peel of the oranges. Nobody, mm. nobody, if you guys at home are being peer pressured to eat your oranges the wrong way, uh, contact us at um, Documented Bits and uh, reach Back out to slash us. we don't care. And we would, ha-ha, we would, JK. We would Dot love com. to hear from you. We would love to hear from you and get your feedback and and yeah, it's it's not okay to eat oranges that way. Hashtag. <laughs> I'm gonna fix my oh. camera because it's getting dark again. Hold Josh, on. can I read you the top comment on this? Please. Um top comment says I like how we're all just calmly answering this like it isn't some crazy cartoon bullshit. Nobody eats orange, oranges peeled and all. I mean, fuck, they peel into the invig- individual sections that are damn near bite size. I literally cannot imagine why you would do this in the first place. Have you considered the possibility that they're just fucking with you? I don't know if I would be mad or impressed by the commitment, but for real, not the asshole. No one gets to tell you how you eat things. That's Looney Tunes. And your response was really respectful. Stand up for yourself. Yeah. I mean, there. I would say from that story that they're definitely not fucking with her. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the boyfriend afterwards, like behind the scenes being like, you you really, you really embarrassed me out there tonight. I've had, I mean, as that person said, like, Oh my fucking god. Hey, maybe it'd be nice if Jack decided not to keep no. ending the calls, you know? If um, fucking did no, it just, again. Jack, I hope you're listening to this bit, but maybe it's just for you, but um Yeah. Uh you gotta stop doing this, my man. You know, we're we're one hour and one minute and fifty fifty five seconds in and you're doing this shit? Take a goddamn hard look at yourself, man. Look at yourself and eat your oranges the right way. Don't put this bit in the edit. Shh. I've just broke Jennifer a secret. All right. Well, um, <laughs> we'll get Josh back one last time to close out the episode. God, what a shit show! I Kabunga. Uh, at least the camera's still fucking going this time. So that's nice. <laughs> I blew my harmonica upside down. And he's back. <laughs> back once again for the Renegade Master. Back yet again, yeah. I've just kept my audio running the whole time, so uh, this have same. to kind of same, 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 same. Um, yeah. Uh, so what you were saying right before that, I was saying the boyfriend the pull behind the scenes and be like, I can't believe you embarrassed me like that. You're about to say something. Mm. But uh, as that top comment said, it's like if it is a fucking like prank, fair play for the commitment. Like the fuck, the stick by it so rigidly. <laughs> to potentially end your relationship over it <laughs> uh, Jonathan That's... I don't think this is gonna work prank <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jonathan you eat your oranges like a goddamn psychopath <laughs> I've never seen somebody eat oranges in such a violent manner well, joke's on you, because it's a prank. I really wish I didn't have to keep fixing my exposure. I really wish uh, the Zoom would stop just Zoom's just not off. a fun time. You know? No. It's not. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I stand by the lady. She was absolutely in the right. And now that she has all these upvotes and comments, I'm sure she showed it to at least the boyfriend. Probably not the family, because the family probably, if it's true, they're probably like, 
mm. in complete denial. Yeah. Um, it's a conspiracy. Yeah, what's in the oranges? <laughs> That's the question you got to be asking. What's in the peel? Why do we have to eat the peel, you know? They yeah. actually... I So I actually eat oranges. Um, from time to time, I've been known to eat an orange. And, Get out um, of here. No, you do not. Have you noticed in shops more, in specifically Tesco and things, that the oranges... You, have you bought an orange from Tesco? Have you bought a pack of oranges? Uh, not recently. I don't think ever, actually. The... Okay, so the... or Okay. Uh, so the oranges have, like, little holes in them. And I recently found out that they have little holes in them because they get injected before they get put on the shelves. And the COVID vaccine? Yeah, they get injected. Get injected yours today! There. But they get they get injected uh, with all sorts... Pumped with all sorts of shit to keep it, like... Mm. But that scares me a little. But There's something weird about that thing to me. Is to, to keep the bugs away as well. Yeah. No, it, it, yeah, I think I think you're right. But I only recently found out about this. Like, as in literally last week, <laughs> I found out about this. Um, last Thursday. And I've been really weird about it since. I haven't bought <laughs> any oranges since. Um, I'll never kind of buy an orange it. again. So I've been told there's some places you can go to where they have like just pure fruit like it's just like it's untouched mm. but you gotta go to like the actual specific fucking pure fruit <laughs> <laughs> you see this orange here come here I'm gonna I'm gonna book you in for a secret come here <laughs> you see this orange here ah uh, it's pure man this orange is pure <laughs> pure oh my god I'm so bright Oh my god, I'm so white. <laughs> Gee, me, excuse me, me love. Are these oranges pure? <laughs> Aye, they are. The purest you'll see. Well, tell me this. Why the fuck's there injections why'd, in them? Why'd you turn them to uh, fucking Pixar character Vander not? Yes, sir. Uh, the purest in all the land. <laughs> Pixar character who? Uh, just any fucking Pixar vendor. Oh. Uh, Our market it, boy. These these are the purest oranges that you've ever seen. <laughs> Step up upon them, smell these oranges, put them up to your nose, bite into the peel. <laughs> Pure orange. Pure orange. I love I do love an orange. <laughs> um but okay. with recent, uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say with recent. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I love an orange as much as the next guy, but with reason. Yeah, I'm not Within gonna marry reason. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm not gonna bite the peel. I um, yeah, orange and banana. If you want to buy me fruit. Orange and banana, if you wanna wanna. Orange and banana, if you wanna wanna buy me fruit. <laughs> uh, Josh, we're an hour and ten minutes in. Is there anything else you want to talk about, or should we close out the show? I think we we probably close it up. I don't think there's anything I'm missing. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything I wanted to bring up? I don't know how this is so bright again. I can only apologize. Um. I don't think there's anything else I want to particularly mention or bring to for bring to the front line. Okay. Um, okay. I. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm nothing okay. going on. Okay. I got a photo shoot on Saturday. Ooh. Yeah. What do you mean nothing going on? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's does it? That's exciting. What's a photo shoot for? It's uh for Keelan. He wants like stuff for his portfolio. Ah, so, I've seen a, a few people take advantage of that. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him uh, hit him up for it, and hopefully, it's, uh, hopefully it happens on Saturday. I don't know, but yeah, shout yeah. out to you, Kaylin, one time. Kaylin Saxaton. You wanna you wanna you wanna throw some plugs in there? Oh, can I also quickly mention that uh, we're both doing TikToks now. Well. Uh, well, you're doing them. You're doing TikToks. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm 
I'm throwing up uh, clips from the podcast. Yeah, he's putting up clips from the podcast. Uh, and I think that you should eventually start making some because no. you're a funny boy. I think you're, you're a funny boy, Jack. And I think it would be rude not to, not to make any sort of content. Mm. You're a very funny boy, sir. Mm. I don't Perhaps. know. I think you should. I Perhaps think you should. sometime in the far future. There's no shame in it. Anyway, yeah, one throw two, the plugs in there. One two for one no shame. Um, yeah, we're documented bits on everything. Uh, there we go, guys. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that includes Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, but just Instagram, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're watching this and you don't want to see our beautiful faces, which I don't know why you wouldn't, uh, you can just listen for free on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or iTunes or Podbean or CastBox or uh, there's a new one recently called Bullfrog, I think. Something mm. like that that uh, we've been getting a lot of lessons on. Oh. Um, and vice versa, if uh, if you're listening to us, but you want to see our beautiful faces, you can go over to YouTube. Uh, we're documented bits on YouTube. Um, if you want to follow my boy Josh here on Instagram, he's at Real Josh Et. Correct. And on Twitter, he's at that Josh Thomas. Also correct. Uh, his address is. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at the old beardo. Uh, if you want to follow my film page, it's at Moon Productions with that's two zeros instead of the O's in Moon and a wee underscore between Moon and Productions. And yeah, I've been doing a wee animation thing recently. I've been putting uh, wee things up on Instagram from that. And yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's not even close to the sound. That's beautiful. No. Uh the next time that Jack does an episode, he's actually gonna play a full song. He's gonna play the the vine for me, you know, the not that one. He's gonna do the let go sweet dreams guys um see you again in the next 10 episodes from now or something probably yeah yeah have a nice yeah, life yeah 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 Out, guys, cut, cut, cut cameras.